what we do here is go back, 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 back. Hello everybody, this is the Bulldozer, and thank you for giving me your time, and thank you for watching another one of my videos. I really do appreciate you giving me your time. If you will, please consider using my code, Mr. Bulldozer Gaming. You can see it there in the center screen, also the lower left-hand corner of your screen. With that green check mark right there, folks, you can tell I am an epic partner. Don't forget, every night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I do release brand new Victor Al shorts. So make sure you check those out. Every one of those shorts are from Chapter 3, Season 4. Also... Um, you're going to see we got these four quests here. Damage opponents while chromed, eliminate opponents, nice structures, and tame chromed wildlife. Um, the unite structures we're going to do in horde rush mode. And eliminate opponents, the only thing I can think is, because I get, end up getting one of ten while playing horde rush. Um, the one time that I did, I, I got the victory out on the horde rush before I went and did these here. I think that actually counted as one elimination for an opponent by beating the boss. Don't know. All I know is when I went to go do the Horde Rush uh, quest, I had one of ten. And that's the only thing I can think of. Uh, let me know if you've played the Horde uh, Rush, how many Victor Rouse you got. I've got uh, seven or eight the few times I've played it. Um, I've played by myself. So um, going into a match with three other people, it, sometimes it's kind of hard to um, get a good squad together. Especially some people don't really know what they're doing. Um, makes it very, very difficult. I had a handful of games where, you know, we start off with four players, but end up with two, or end up with um, three, or myself. Everybody else will back out. Don't know why. But let's go ahead and get started. This uh, video will also have a Victor Al in it, and the page two has got a crown Victor Al. So when I finished these, these quests here, I got a Victor Al. And the very first uh, recording of doing those quests for page two, I got a back-to-back -back victory out, so I got a crown victory out. So let's go ahead and get started. This is going to be an easy one here. We're going to take and um, just hit this gas can right here, and it's going to ignite this little shed, I guess is what you can call it, little bedroom. And you're going to see we're going to get three of the 50 right there. Now, have you played Horde Rush? And if you haven't, it's it is very very fun. I think you'd probably have a lot more fun if you go in with, go in with three of your friends. But um, I'm always back and in and out. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll play a game here, play a game there, and um, so that's why I always play solo. Now we're here at Greasy Grove. I'm gonna go over here to the gas station. I'm gonna pick up two gas cans while I'm here. Now don't waste your gas cans on these brick structures, okay? Um, you're not, if you get any damage at all, it's not going to be that much. You want to take these take these gas cans over to the wooden houses. And you'll see exactly what I'm talking about here in a second. And what, what, you, what you're going to do is you're going to set these gas cans down. And you're going to just fire one shot, one shot only. Because you don't want to explode the gas can while you're standing there next to it. Shoot one shot, one shot only. So you'll see the little flame that will come out. And that will give you time to get away. Got this blue house up here. We're going to go up here on the balcony. Right outside the house here. We're going to toss this can down and we're going to shoot it. Just one old shot and get away. That way when it explodes, you won't catch no damage. And here in a minute, you'll see it pop up on the screen. I think it starts with, uh, or it goes to 32 of 50, I think. Yeah, 32 of 50. Do the same thing there now. 41 of 50. Again, you'll see that green check mark here in a second. Go over to the quest. There we go. There's the green check mark. And now we have our brand new harvesting tool for the Herald. This is definitely a fun mode to play. You can see you got quest one of three completed to take it on lock her. And right here is our reward. Pretty nice. I actually love that purplish pink and how they have it blend together. Very, very nice. And confirmation, you can see now we only have three quests left to complete. Um, again, you can see you only need three. They gave you four, so if there's one of the quests you don't you know, want to do right away, you can skip that one and just do the other three, which is nice. So let's go ahead and continue. You see over here at the reality tree, I'm going to jump on this wolf's back. And that's going to be... 
you know, tame chromed wildlife one of two. Now I took and I put these in order. Um, these obviously didn't have back to back, but now we're jumping on the board and there's our green check mark for that. And now we have our back bling. This actually is a pretty nice back bling. So now we're over here. Again, we are playing the Horde Rush mode. This is where we get the victory round. I think this is where I got the one at. Now, if you're playing this and you get over to Rocky Reels, get up here. As you can see, me and my teammate is up here. You can see the boss is over in front of the screen. It just allows us to unload on this boss. And I don't know. Um, I think what it was is if you look on top of the screen, we have a teammate that's up there. So he is shooting down at the boss. Or she, as far as that goes, and we are over here shooting there. So that boss is stuck because because we're all inside the storm. The storm has not started to close in on us, so it gives us a perfect opportunity to take take this boss out because he can't do anything. He can't he can't lean back that high to shoot our teammate because you see there's only three of us. As I said earlier, we started off with four and we took in um, one person quit. And I think if, if we end up winning the game and you quit, you won't get credit for it. So just, you know, just take your time. Just make sure, make sure you make all your shots count. Yeah, bring that shot down a little bit. Once I figure out exactly where to aim, there we go. Start taking a lot of damage on that boss. Just absolutely nailing him. That was that was awesome, and, and remind you, none of us knew each other. We, you know, this is just a good team got together. Don't even communicate with anybody because I don't talk to people. Because sometimes when I record videos, you just can't um, have some players' voices in your recording. So now we're going to do the eliminations. So we got a lightsaber here. And there is number two. See this person over here is shooting at me, using this tree as cover. Still trying to get the hang of using this pulse rifle. There's three of ten. Again, don't forget this video will have a victory owl in it, and page two has got a crown victory owl. This person's down below shooting at somebody. I don't know what that person was shooting at. I looked down there and never saw nobody. So, so I really do not know. You can see we got 141 of 500 damage dealt now. Make sure you hire your NPCs, folks. Hire your NPCs. They will help you out. And that's the other thing, too. If you're looking for the um, community, uh, talk with a character um, and on page two, uh, I'll show you exactly where to go. The game only gives you one character to go to. It does not tell you the other two characters you need to go to. Um, to the point where I'm actually probably going to put a separate video out just for that by itself. Landed. I got lucky here, I'll be honest with you. Um, I think that person picked up a weapon that just didn't have a lot of bullets in it. That's the only reason why he, they didn't eliminate me because they definitely had the drop on me. So we've got seven to ten eliminations now. And I believe at that point my damage is already done. I didn't get a notification that the damage was done. So there's eight of ten eliminations. I did have my game crash on me three times while recording in these quests. Sometimes I absolutely hate it when it puts you through walls. I wish they'd give us a button that to press if you want to go through the walls or something. There's our emote icon. Now, now we've unlocked the skin. Keep moving around. Nine of ten eliminations now. And there's ten of ten eliminations. Try to take it use this hillside as cover. 
like they was trying to hop on that wolf's back. This person right here tried to eliminate me with the lifesaver, but I was able to jump backwards. On, when I jumped backwards, I landed actually up on top of the van, which I was not expecting. You can see them right there. If you walk around crouch like I'm doing, they won't see footprints on their screen saying you're close by. That's why this person had absolutely no clue I was there. So he starts running to me. I hit him. I move back in and unload on him with the legendary SMG. And I jump up and I actually land right on, right on top of the van. And he's trying to block my bullets. And it did not work out well for him at all. And there we go, Victor Al. And that's a nice way to finish off page one, finishing it off with a Victor Al. And here are our other four quests. You saw we got our pickaxe earlier. And to start off page two with getting a back to back Victor Al for a crown Victor Al. Nice way to start off uh, doing the page two quest as well. This is a really nice skin. I absolutely like the skin. I just wish we had diff different, some different styles. And here are our quests for page two. Destroy objects with the explosive goo gun. Eliminate opponents at airborne locations. That can be a little tricky, but I'll tell you the best place to go to complete this. Get chromed while driving. You're basically just going to jump in a car with the chrome splash and pop out the passenger window or one of the other windows and chrome fill the car. You're good to go. They enter Herald Sanctum and place top 10 again. Um, I'll show you how I do that. I take advantage of the tornado and talk to characters and deliver the Herald's warning. And that's the one I was telling you that um, they, only, they literally only tell you one location to go to and you have to go to three. And even after you go to that one, it does not update. So again, I'll show you exactly where to go to complete that. Thank you for watching. Thank you for giving me your time. I really do appreciate it. And don't forget, every night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I do release brand new Chapter 3, Season 4, Victory Off Shorts. This is the Bulldozer. Get your killing on. I'm out of here. Hope you enjoyed the video you just watched. Here's some more videos you might be interested in. On the left hand side, my Fortnite playlist. On the right hand side, the previous video I uploaded. Who knows what this could be? It could be dash cam footage. It could be something about on YouTube. It could be a number of things. Thank you for watching. Thank you for giving me your time. This is the Bulldozer. Get your killing on. And I'm out of here.